Topic 8, Lesson 3, Multiplying Two-Digit Numbers by Multiples of 10. Well, so far you know how to use arrays to find products. In this lesson, you're going to learn a shortcut for multiplying by a number that ends in 0. Our standard is multiply a whole number of up to four digits by one-digit whole number and multiply two two-digit numbers using strategies based on place value and the properties of operations and we can illustrate and explain the calculation by using equations, rectangular arrays, and or area models. Our mathematical practices are first we're going to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. We're going to reason abstractly and quantitatively. We're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others and look for and express regularity in repeated reasoning. Our focus is, how can you find the product of a two-digit number and a multiple of 10? Let's take a look. Tim's aquarium had 23 guppies. A year later, he had 90 times as many guppies. How many guppies does Tim have? So again, he starts off with 23 guppies, and a year later, we get 90 times as many as he started with. So again, the question is, how many guppies does Tim have now? Well, we can try it this way. It's 90 times 23. That's the regular algorithm way. But what if we went ahead and split it up here? And we use an array. We put 90 over here, and we take this 23 and put 20 there, and 3 here, and we can solve that way. So, really, 9 times 2 is 18, and then we have our two zeros, 0 there, 0 there. And then 90 times 3, 9 times 3 is 27, plus the extra 0, and we can solve. We can add it up together. So we'd get 1,800 plus 270, and we get 2,070. We could try it a couple other ways too. We can do partial products. We can do 3 times 0 is 0. And then 3 times 90, which is really 270. And then if we take 2 times, or sorry, 20, not this 2 is not a 2, it's a, it's a 20. 20 times 0, we get 0. And then 20 times 90, and we're going to get same thing. And we add it up. Let's see, 7 and 0, and we get 2070, just like what we got right here. And if you want to do it the regular way, let's take a look at that. So 0 times 3 is 0, 3 times 9 is 27, add our 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 9 is 18. 0, 7, and we get the same answer. So no matter which way you use it with an array, partial products, or the standard algorithm, you're going to get the same answer. Now try 65 times 20. Go ahead and pause the video, give it a try, and come back when you're done. Good luck. All right, how'd you do? Did you do it with an array, or did you just solve with an algorithm? Let's try 65 times 20, and we can come up with 5 times 0 is 0, 0 times 6 is 0, and then you add your 0, 2 times 5 is 10, and 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 more is 13, and we get 1,000. 300. And you could have done it this way too. So you can split it up. It'd be 20 over here and 60 and 5. And again, you're going to get 1200 here. And 10 times 5, you're going to get 100 there. Add that up. And you still get 1300. How'd you do? 
So there it is. Again, we could do 20 times, so to see a little bit better, 60 times 20, you're going to get 1,200. And then 20 times 5, you're going to get 100. Add that up, 1,300. All right, now try some on your own. Good luck.